Uh, Heath, congratulations on your Rising Star nomination. Um, again, how did you sort of find out um, from the club that that was sort of coming your way yesterday? Um, thanks, Eliza. Uh, I found out um, from JL, he gave me a ring in the morning. Um, yeah, just to let me know that I won it and, um, yeah. And what was your reaction um, when you got that phone call? Um, obviously, uh, it was nice to get the recognition. Um, a few nice words from JL, but um, yeah, I'll look to move on and um, you know take a bit of confidence out of um, out of the nomination and um, yeah, keep putting my best foot forward and um, yeah, play my role. And what about reactions from teammates, family, friends? How have they all sort of responded to the news? Because it's been a it's been a fair way coming um, based on the court of public opinion. Sorry, I lost you there at the end. Sorry, I was just saying um, a lot of fans feel like it's long overdue. So what was the sort of reaction from your teammates and friends and family as well? Um, yeah, obviously all pretty positive. Um, it's nice to get some, like I said, some some nice words and nice messages. Um, and I can I can take a little bit of confidence out of that and um, yeah, keep, keep improving, I guess. The footy that you are playing the footy that you are playing, Heath, compared to the early games that you got to play last year, how much more comfortable are you feeling now at the level? Um, yeah, I was lucky enough to get a get a pretty free run at the um, at a long pre-season this year and um, could take a lot of confidence out of that. And um, I feel like each game that's gone by, I've um, been able to take a lot of learnings out and feel more comfortable out there as, um, as I string a few games together. And yeah, like I said, just keep learning along the way and um, keep keep improving on um keep improving on my game. He's funny at Channel Nine here. Sorry. Always oh, uh, thank you, sorry. Uh, I was just gonna say after uh, congratulations on the nomination, after how much football you missed last year, how much do you see this nomination as a byproduct of the um, consistent game time you've been able to achieve this year? Um yeah, I guess consistency is what I'm striving for, being able to play my role week in, week out. And um, yeah, I guess it is It is just a byproduct of that and um, something that, like I said, I can just take a little bit of confidence out of and yeah, keep moving forward. And how rewarding is it to put so many back-to-back -back games together after the huge chunk that you were forced to sit out for last year? Yeah, I was pretty unfortunate to, to have an early injury in my career like that, but um was able to take some take some good learnings out of that and um you know prepare my body a little bit better for the level and um you know now I don't take games for granted and um yeah try to do my best each week yes you're leading the team for the steps Heath do you do you feel like you've been handed a, a pretty important role in the team um Oh, I get given a role each week and um, I try to play that to the best of my ability and you know I show, I show up to the spots um, or try to show up to the spots each contest um, you know some games that the ball falls my way other games it doesn't but um, you know I ch keep trying to get those spots and play my role and you know um, I love some good games and you know some sometimes it just doesn't fall your way I guess. And what about the defensive group do you What's the secret there? You, you guys just seem to be in a real groove at the moment, the way that you're defending as a, a team within the team. Um, yeah, we've got a real good back seven there. Um, real st strong connection off the off the field, which I guess translates into having trust in each other um, on the field each weekend. And um, yeah, I guess we just, we all go out there and have fun. We've got some good personalities back there and, um, you know, always having a laugh and, you know, not taking it too seriously and sticking to our process and, um, I think that holds us in pretty good stead. How do you... Um, oh, sorry, go. Sorry. Hey, what's been your favourite moment out on the field as an AFL footballer so far? Um, well, obviously, my debut was real nice um, to, to get that achievement. Um, yeah, I probably can't go past that feeling of going out there for the first time in front of a crowd and... Um, yeah, that'd probably be it for me. And you spoke about improvement, which is scary to think about because you're looking very comfortable as is. But what part of your game are you most focused on improving? 
Um, I guess more probably my positioning at the moment. Um, you know, getting to the right spots, running hard to to provide options and to you know defend hard and get in dangerous spots. But um, yeah, and then obviously I think my kicking at the moment. Um, it's something I've focused on over the last um, pre-season and. Um, I feel like that's come a long way, and um, I guess yeah, keep improving on that. Can I ask you, who's been helping you mostly with that side of your game? Um, real fortunate to have some pretty good resources in um, Tendai um, and Matt Boyd. Um, you know, try to get the extra touch in, and uh, yeah, work on my game, work on those basics, and um, you know, if I think if I can do the basics well and be be a clean player. Um, Below the ground, um, I'll blame on A. Sorry, um, yeah, that'll hold me in good stead. I was just going to ask, um, heading into this weekend, how much of a challenge do you see Gold Coast, given they've just come off a great win over Sydney and playing at Metricon as well? Um, yeah, obviously a, a pretty long flight, and they've come off a really good win um, and are in some good form. But um, it will jump into some oppo prep today and. Um, you know, dive right into what they want to do as a as a side, and um, yeah, we got some hard games coming up. But um, yeah, trying to live in the moment and um, you know take the challenges as they come.